it's Jane here, and I thought I would come on here and show you my favorite pattern to make an apron. And this is it. The pattern is Mary Mulari, Mary Molari designs the reversible apron pattern. And this is my favorite go-to apron to make. It's just simple and easy and it's reversible so i did mine and has pockets i did mine in ladybugs ladybugs on the front and then it's got other little bugs on the back <laughs> so anyway and it just ties here in the back or you can put velcro and it comes with two different styles of pockets and it's a one size fits all. And if you're looking to make a simple, easy Christmas present, why not this? I mean, who can't use an apron? And it's so Christmassy. It's so festive. It's so holiday-ish. It's so hostess gifty, you know what I mean? And she gives you, with the pattern, it's like a little tube-like, you know what I mean? So you can wrap it up and put it in this little bag so it comes with a gift bag how to sew a gift bag so you would just roll up the apron and put it in the gift bag and voila you have a beautiful 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 gift or make it for yourself so anyway I was just going to share my apron with you and what is new in the dollhouse. So let's see. Oh, I know. I was going to show you my purse I finished. Here it is. Got to get my purse. I don't know if you watched my video when I was at the river that day and I started a purse. So anyway, I finished my purse. I think it's so cute. My little drawstring purse and I sew buttons on it and it just ties like you know what I mean it's a pull string a little pull string pouchy bag and I made a straps the straps is called an eye cord knitting an eye cord so I knit an eye cord for the strap and this little pattern I also got on a YouTube channel called knitting tips by Judy. And you have to kind of um, scroll back maybe 14, 15 years. <laughs> but it's so cute. Or you can go, when you go to the YouTube Knitting Tips by Judy, she has playlists and just click on purses. But I thought this came out so cute. And I sewed the buttons on. I just love this little purse and I can, I don't know, you could just use this for anything. Just, you know, put a wallet and your glasses and your keys and run to the store or, you know, just anything. I just think this came out so cute. This would be another cute gift. Knit someone a little pouchy purse or make them an apron. <laughs> so, Let's see what I'm working on now. What I'm currently working on are this and this. It is a, a mama cat and a daddy cat. So I got the mama cat and the daddy cat sewed up. And you gotta stuff them. You gotta stuff them and this is another cute, wouldn't this be a cute little gift? And I'm not quite finished. I've got to get, I've got to finish this little kitty. Um, let me find it. She comes with kittens. <laughs> she comes with four little kittens. And anyway, it's so cute. So you sew the kitty. It is an apron. You sew her an apron and then you put the kitties in she has four kitties in her apron then she'll be done and this is a cute little gift set i got this at the sewing store 
not the sewing store, the quilt shop. There's a little quilt shop in my town. And I saw this last summer and I did, I got the cat, there's a cat pair and a dog pair. And this is just called a panel. So you're just gonna, you know what I mean? You just sew, cut, cut and sew. You know, this is called a panel. It's already drawn out and you're just gonna cut around the edges like paper dolls and then sew it up. So anyway, I'm working on this. I want to finish her apron today. That's what I'm doing today. I'm finishing apron. It's just kind of an apron kind of day. So I've got to finish the kitty's apron. And anyway, that's about all for my projects I'm working on. Um, let's see. Oh, I did do a knitting project, but it's in the other room. So I'll have to share that next time. But I do want to introduce to you a special guest. And she comes all the way from Green Bay, Wisconsin. Yay! Okay, here she is. The latest addition to the dollhouse. Here's the latest addition to the dollhouse. Is I'm naming her Peppermint Patty. <laughs> And like I said, she comes all the way from Green Bay, Wisconsin. And she's an ideal Patty Play Pal from 1959-1960. Say hi, Peppermint Patty. She's Peppermint Patty. So anyway, I'm naming her Peppermint Patty because when I opened her up, her box smelled like peppermint. So her name is Peppermint Pandy. Pandy. Peppermint Patty. <laughs> Peppermint Patty. So anyway, I'm going to get busy and I want to finish sewing the apron to my little kitty so it will be done. And that's what I'm doing today. I hope you guys have a great Saturday and we'll see you next time. Bye from me and Peppermint Patty. <laughs> Bye.